If you're watching this video, you're thinking about moving to Lombard, Illinois. In this video, we're gonna show you around Lombard, Illinois. We'll take you through some neighborhoods and show you some homes at different price points so you can get a feel for what they're like and also see when they fit in your budget. Now, if you stick around, I'll show you a few things. So you definitely don't wanna miss this. So let's get to it. I wanted to get started first with the downtown area of Lombard, Illinois. Now this is kind of an historic area. Uh, this is where you can come for uh, shops, a little bit of shopping, dinner, small restaurants, that sort of thing. But it's also the area right here on the corner of Main Street and St. Charles where you can come to the metro station. And the metro station was the backdrop for the intro to this video. And uh, I'm going to kind of turn around so you can see where we're at. And you can get an idea of what it looks like over here. Right behind me you see the old uh, metro station. This one goes from Elburn all the way in the west uh, to downtown Chicago. So this gives us an idea of what the downtown area of Lombard is. Lombard is actually a fairly uh, transient area uh, because a lot of people move here because they work downtown. So it's very convenient for them. So that's why it's good to have the train in the same town that you live in. So for those that work downtown, this is a great place. Whether you're moving in seven days or seven weeks, give us a call, shoot us a text, or send us an email. All the information is in the description below so we can help make a smooth move to the Chicagoland area. So as I mentioned, we're here in Lombard, Illinois. And like I mentioned to you earlier, this is the central district of Lombard where you have the metro station, a few restaurants. And I just wanted to kind of give you guys an idea of what it looks like around here. So I'm just gonna kind of pan so you can see what the downtown area looks like. This is an older part of downtown. And what I'm going to do later is I'm going to take you to some newer parts so you can get an idea and then we'll do our home tour. So let's get started. I wanted to bring you guys to the newer part or the more busier part of Lombard. Now Lombard, right now we're currently at Yorktown Mall. Now Yorktown Mall for many years was just an indoor mall. And over time with the changes in the economy, they ended up changing the mall to be kind of partially outdoors, partially indoors. So behind me you'll see stores, you'll see stores like Von Mauer, uh, you'll see stores like Home, home store, TJ Maxx, that have fascias to the outside, but it's connected to the indoor mall. And then you've got some of these outdoor places, which you can see behind me. And they have connections to like Forever 21. And then you've got a lot of restaurants. So one of the things they did here in Lombard, because it is such a busy district, they have a lot of conventions and that sort of thing going on here. Uh, there's a lot of hotels in the area, like the Westin. Uh, and then you've got a lot of restaurants, like right behind me is Ra. You also have uh, Capitol Grill. You have, uh, what was that, Buco de Pepo. And, store, and restaurants like that, a little bit more higher end. And I'm going to pan around so you can see behind me. And you're going to see some office buildings. Now these office buildings, are a wide variety of different corporations. Uh, so, and you can see why this is a very busy area and very well populated, uh, kind of a tourist attraction to a certain extent. Uh, over by the West End, you've got Harry Carey's, which is a, which is a nice restaurant. Uh, and you've got an AMC theater, which if I pan around, you'll probably see over my shoulder way in the back but this mall is pretty big pretty large and 
I think you'll really enjoy coming out here, especially if you're in the Lombard area. Check it out. Uh, if you live here, this will probably be a place that you'll come to quite a bit. Okay, first stop in Lombard. This is a four bedroom, two bath with a two car garage. Now this is built in 1963. Three of the bedrooms are on the top level and the fourth bedroom is on the lower level. Now this is what's called a raised ranch. Uh, if you're not familiar with them, basically raised ranches are, you see the front door there? When you walk in that front door, you are on a platform and that platform you have to either go up or you go down. So you go up to the main level, which is where the kitchen, dining room, living room, uh, three of the bedrooms and a bathroom are located. And then if you don't, you go downstairs and that's where you access the garages and the other bedroom and, and probably a family room. So now this one's listed for $430,000. So that gives you an idea what $400,000 gets you. So we are in the southern part of Lombard and this house is roughly about $430,000. Take a look around the neighborhood. Now this neighborhood hasn't transformed like some other neighborhoods that you'll see later in uh, the video. But basically this is what you get uh, most of the homes here are built in the 60s and 70s, as you can see from the construction. But it's a nice quiet area. It's in the southern part of Lombard, right off of Butterfield Road. And uh, it's, it's a nice area. And this house appears to be very well kept, as are much of the houses that are around here. People do take pride in the homes that they live in. So, but like I said, this is uh, four bedrooms with two full bathrooms and got two car garage, uh, has a lower level with an extra bedroom and you got three bedrooms up top. Uh, so, so this is what uh, 430,000 can get you in Lombard. So now we'll go on to some of the next homes. Now this house is a four bedroom two and two half bath, roughly about 2,400 square feet, uh, built in 1991. Now this house is going for $599,900. So this is roughly what you get now. Now what you don't see, now I know you, you just heard it was built in 1991. This house has been completely redone from the inside. So the inside is pretty nice, all modern, uh, everything updated. Uh, doesn't lack for anything, it's moving ready. So this is kind of in the trend of what's going on here in Lombard. Now Lombard is a city that has a lot of older homes, probably going back 70, 80, 90, 100 years old. And some of these homes are either being torn down because they're just too old to do anything with, and they build brand new ones that are going for significantly higher than this one, or you're going for say homes that were built in the 80s, 90s, maybe in the 70s, maybe a little earlier than that, and they're building this property, they're, 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 they're updating this property to today's standards. So, but this house, like I said, was built in 1991. Uh, it is, like I said, 24, 2,500 square feet. It is on a main road currently, and I just wanna show you that it's in a nice area so you can get a look at the neighborhood. You can see some of the houses that are around here. And across the street from this house is a recreation center. So no one else is gonna build over here, so you're never gonna have anybody in front. Also, the kind of nice thing is on weekends, if you have people over, you can always just have them park in this parking lot. Not a big deal, uh, but it should be, it's a nice house. Uh, we're gonna take a look at it one more time. We can take a look and see this home. But this is an example of what you would get for roughly about $600,000, 599,900. 
So there you are. Just one more pan of the houses around it. You can see there's a mix of homes, some a little older, some a little newer, but that's basically what you get in this particular area. And we are in the northern part, uh, I would say a little bit northern part of Lombard. And we are probably about, I don't know, maybe a mile and a half, two miles from Yorktown Mall, which is kind of a focal point, a central point here in Lombard. So let's go take a look at the next house in Lombard. This house is actually a four bedroom, four bath, two car garage, little more than 3,000 square feet, listed for $699,900. So this is kind of an, a brick construction. It's not all brick. It does have siding, but it's a pretty large home. This is a newer build, built in 2005. So, again, kind of the trend here in Lombard. Lombard's kind of an extension of what Elmhurst is like and towns like that that were really old that are on the Metro train line that they take the older homes, knock them down and build some new ones. I'm assuming that this one in 2005, before that had a much older home here in this lot. And because of that, they knocked it down to build this thing. And so, nice home. Uh, not quite an updated home, but it has a lot of newer and more modern, uh, I guess you can say, accents to it. Uh, like I said, it has a brick facade. I'm gonna kind of walk this way so you can see the home a little bit better. And then I'll give you, a, I'll show you around the, the neighborhood a little. But this is roughly what you can get for $600,000 in Lombard. I'm gonna kind of pan around so you can see the neighborhood. You can see a combination of some older homes. Some not quite as new as this. But there you have it. That's kind of a 1970 style home there. It's right next door. But these two homes here, my guess were probably built by the same builder. They have a very similar style. Uh, and you're gonna see a lot of these sprinkled throughout Lombard. Uh, just because the lot sizes here in Lombard are, are, tend to be a little bit bigger. Uh, and so it can accommodate a home of this size. But like I said, this is a four bedroom with a four bathroom, uh, two car garage, and it is built in 2005 with a sales price of $699,900. So there you go. This is what you get in Lombard. So this gives you an idea. Okay, now we're back. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna kind of rehash a little bit about what we've seen today. And then uh, we're going to talk a little bit about uh, Lombard, Illinois. And so you can get a little bit better feel uh, about how Lombard is. So let's get started with the properties we're gonna kind of rehash. The first property was in the south part of Lombard. Uh, that part is by Butterfield and I-355. So I-355 goes north-south, Butterfield goes east-west, and Butterfield Road, if you're going east on it, will take you to uh, Yorktown Mall, and if you continue going straight, it'll take you all the way to Oakbrook Center, which is the hub of all shopping here in the Chicagoland area. So it's very well situated, located. It is uh, also, um, <clears throat> You know, very close to a major highway in case you want to go north-south. And if you want to go east-west, you just go down to I-88. 
Now that first property was listed for $430,000 and it was a four bedroom, two bath home, roughly built in 1963. And it is a raised ranch. So you've got the upper level, which is the main area, and then the lower level where you have the garage and you've got a basement. Well, not really a basement, but it's a lower level where you can have like a family room and maybe an extra room down there, uh, probably in the second bathroom as well. So the second property we went to go see is kind of in the center of uh, Lombard, a little bit further north. It is listed for $599,900. It's a four bedroom, two full bath with two half baths. This one was built in 1991. It's been completely rehabbed from inside. And it also has a sunroom out back. Uh, it is also roughly about 2,500 square feet. So it's a little bit bigger house. And uh, it's right across the street from a rec center. So in case you are uh, exercise buff you can actually just go walk across the street you're right there at the rec center now the third house is in the same relative neighborhood as the second one and it's a little bit closer to the train tracks uh, I always should say the train station but you it's nowhere near where you could hear them uh, but nice neighborhood not a whole lot of traffic it is a $699,999 property and that one has four bedrooms and four whole bathrooms in roughly 3,000 square feet with a finished basement. Now this one is built in 2005, a little bit newer construction so you're probably not going to have too many things in the way of updates as far as today's standards. So the second house would probably have more updates than the first one. However, excuse me, then the, the third one. Now the third one is actually a home that is more, a lot like the properties that you would see today that are being built. Uh, it does have that framework. So if you're looking for that and you wanna update a property like that, there's some hidden value in there as well. So this property is roughly about 3,000 square feet. Again, built in 2005, so it's less than 20 years old. Not a whole lot to do there. You do have some items that might be coming up for a renewal, uh, such as your HVAC, maybe your roof, uh, but those things um, <clears throat> probably aren't gonna be needed at any point soon. Uh, so that's basically our trip for today. So we gave you a range of anywhere from roughly about $400,000 all the way up to $700,000. And that's generally the range of single family homes here in Lombard. Now you do have some lower priced homes and then you've got some very expensive homes that are more or less new construction that you're going to find in the Lombard area that are going to be above that $700,000 price level. So be looking out for that. If you're looking for new construction, you're probably looking at greater than $700,000. Uh, love to be able to show you those and if that's of interest to you let me know and I can do your I can do the homework on that as well so let's talk a little bit about Lombard itself now like I mentioned to you before Lombard is roughly about 20 miles outside of the city of Chicago uh, matter of fact it's about 20 miles outside of the downtown area not so much the actual city itself um, it does have the metro station that goes through that's the Union Pacific West line for those of you that are interested in that, it goes all the way to Elburn, which is in the west, and takes you all the way to downtown Chicago. And a lot of the towns that are in between where this particular metro station has stops at, or this metro line has stops at, are going to be well-developed, well-heeled towns. And so Lombard being one of those. And Lombard is one of those towns where you're going to see a lot of that older construction mixed in with some much newer construction and that's kind of the gist of where Lombard is. Um, <clears throat> so Lombard was established back in 1869. It also has a festival that maybe some of you didn't know about. Uh, some people outside of Lombard may not know about it. It's called the Lilac Festival. They do it every May for about 16 days. 
and it's here in Lombard. So you may want to check that out if you're in the area. Uh, something else that I thought was interesting, uh, niche.com also talk about, talked about Lombard as being one of those towns that is uh, one of the best towns to live in. Uh, I can see why that's the case. This is my own personal opinion. It does have the railroad track, train station, metro station that goes through it. It does have a nice little downtown area. It's got a more modern area uh, to the south of it over by Yorktown. And it has a direct line into uh, Oak Brook. So you've got a lot of activity, a lot of entertainment. You've got quite a few uh, modern hotels, quite a, quite a few nice restaurants. And it's just a very pleasant town. And in the fall, you see a lot of that foliage, that beautiful looking uh, change in, in seasons that you get here in the Midwest. You really see it in Lombard. So that is something that, that is a site to take a look at and I think you would enjoy. Lombard is centrally located because directly on I-55, like I said, it goes north south. Uh, you could either go up north where you can you can catch Schaumburg and do all the things that are available there in Schaumburg. Schaumburg is another fairly large city which has Woodfield Mall and that sort of thing. But you could also go south and go to the south suburbs pretty easily or to the south part of the uh, Chicagoland area. So it is something that is fairly centrally located and you can pretty you can pretty much get anywhere in the Chicagoland area fairly easily from Lombard. And that's why Lombard is one of those towns that is very attractive just for that reason alone. If you've lived or currently live in Lombard, Illinois, write in something below. Let us know what it's like to be here in Lombard to show the people that are watching things that might be important to them. Now, whether you're moving here in seven days or seven weeks, shoot us a text, give me a call, send me an email. I'd love to show you around.